All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Hexile Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Lobster on the left and Dinosaur on the right. Lobster flying the old-fashioned Imperials. This is a hyperspace legal list. We've got Darth Vader in the TIE X-1 with fire control system so that he can keep his target lock around uh, if he only rerolls one die. And with advanced targeting computer to allow him to throw an extra die and change one hit to a crit so fire control system pretty much stapled to the uh the tie x1 afterburners giving him a free boost Ooh, hold on one second ah oh, there we go uh gives him a free boost after executing a three to five speed maneuver even while stressed um, and then Brilliant Evasion. So if he's not in the attacker's bullseye arc while he's defending, uh, he can spend one force point to change two focus results to evades. So it just doubles the efficiency there. I think I still like Hate Vader a little bit more. Getting Once you get to the bottom of your, uh, your force stack, it's hard to get back uh, to, to that multiple force... Um, without hate, but he's hate requires you to take damage. Vader's looking not to take any damage. We'll see how it works out for him. It is a uh, six point upgrade. Then he's got Suntrafell with Predator. Now that is a efficient ace right there. Uh, 54 points. Major Vermeil in the uh, Tie Reaper. He's got Death Troopers and a shield upgrade, so pretty tanky. 59 points, not bad. For that ship, Death Troopers. During the activation phase, enemy ships at range 0 to 1 cannot remove stress tokens. Um, these Vulture Droids on the other side do have a barrel roll into a red calculate, so there is the possibility of stressful maneuvers, um, and then maybe even if they K turn, they will not be relieving stress afterwards. Um, on the other side, we've got. Dinosaur, he, he tried a version of this list earlier that had grappling struts, and he has changed that to what we see right here, which is um, Trade Federation drones with energy shell charges instead. He couldn't fit them, couldn't fit the energy shells on all of them, unfortunately, but got them on five out of the six. Let's go ahead and name these so they fit better in the overlay. Uh, looks like the uh, Federation drones are going to head up the bottom of the board. They're probably not quite as good at flanking as these uh, Imperials. They're going to do their best. So the other part of this list is Captain Seer. I call him Captain Crackshot. He gives the, uh, the Crackshot ability essentially to each of his friendly units. Is it range 0 to 3? Yep. So while they perform primary attack, if the defender is in their bullseye arc, they can spend a Calculate token to cancel an evade result. Um, and that's pretty good on ships that share their calculates. He's got Kraken, so that three of these ships can keep their calculate tokens um, even after the end phase. So that's how they already have calculates. Can be pretty beefy. There we go. Everything fits nice and neatly in the overlay. Uh, Vecna's saying the target can take strain instead. Let's double check that, but you're probably right. Uh, before the neutralize result step, the friendly ship may spend one calculate token to cancel one evade result. So no, you cannot take strain to stop that from happening. Man, I like that card art too. That's so cool. Bell, the Bella Blub. Bell Blab is a cool looking ship. So 
So if you haven't seen the uh, the first game Dinosaur played today with uh, a variation of this list, go watch that because I'm going to spoil it. But uh, his vultures just weren't able to do enough. Oh boy, was that a mistake? Why did he one hard turn that way? Maybe he's getting out of this dude's. I don't know. Anyway, his uh, vulture droids just weren't able to push through enough damage. They used their grappling struts once. It was kind of cool. Maybe twice. Um, but not enough to justify the amount of points that he spent on it. So now he's going for raw damage possibilities. The other problem you have with these droids is that they spend all their calculate tokens defending and then they won't have their energy shells or any mods when they get to the combat phase. So we'll see if he can uh, get a few of these energy shells off. Maybe this was a bit of uh, range management. He does have a two talon roll that he could use to get facing the right direction next turn. Alright, so we see a Romeo turn right. Looks like that's looks like he's stressed there. Um got Sunterfell coming around the top. Vader continues to range manage here. Spent one force point. He will get that right back at the end of this activation. Not be any combat, so dials are going back down. Vader gets his force points back. And we see Kraken keeping those calculates around. In theory, that should make these uh, vulture droids uh, keep a lot of. Uh, mods around the only unfortunate thing is uh, seer can't get in on the uh, sharing of calculates so we'll probably see some Two banks maybe into this region. No ailerons from Vermeil. And he can't stop because he's stressed. Maybe a hard turn out of Seer. You just see Sunterfell coming up the flank here. Could see some hard turns from the uh, vultures. They want to catch Sunterfell out here. Any one of these could be a, a bait. I think Vader's going to turn in. I don't think we'll see Vermeil try and bug out. He's going to do some kind of slow maneuver. Droids are going to start us off. Two bank out of drone number three. Has a decent amount of coverage here. Are right, we going to see two banks out of everybody? Is anybody going to turn to catch Sunterfell? Doesn't look like it. Of course, Sunterfell is going to have to come pretty far 
to get out of all these arcs. The two hard and a barrel roll with a uh, linked action calculate. Is he going to boost linked action focus? Nope. Says the calculate's enough. Doesn't want to have to relieve that stress. Doesn't look like anybody's got Bullseye Arc on Vermeil. Vermeil could jam. Thinking about the focus. Goes for the focus. Wants that offensive ability. Three hard turn from Vader. Probably going to reach for that target lock. Goes for the Afterburner's Boost. It's a pretty early spin there. Spins a Force Point. So he's got Focus and Target Lock. The thing about these drones is you... You spend all of your mods trying to kill one drone and then it goes down with one combat. And uh, especially with something like a Target Lock. You got nothing, uh, nothing doing to follow up. You have to shoot your two dice pea shooter at somebody else. Sunter fell, gets the bullseye arc, takes the focus, has the evade from uh, auto thrusters. The 2.0 auto thrusters, not the uh, 1.0 gas cloud auto thrusters. So going to shoot with predator, range three, obstructed. It looks like. He might be able to find an unobstructed shot if he wanted it. No, it's going to be obstructed. There's two hits. Doesn't want to spend that focus just in case. Make himself an easy target. There's three evades. You don't see that a lot from the uh, Separatist drones. Alright, Vader's going to shoot. Range two, three dice. Ooh, natty! And uh, advanced targeting computer is going to turn that into a another crit. So hit double crit, spins one calculate to evade two, takes the crit on number three here, which is oops. Let's get that out of the way. Loose stabilizer. the wrong ship there. Alright, four dice, range one from the Reaper. Vermeil's ability. While you perform an attack, the defender does not have any green tokens. You may change one blank to a foc or, or, or focus result to a hit, but he does have a green token. Gets three hits. Ooh, but that's going through anyway. That is a dead drone number three. But he soaked up all the shots from the Imperials, so that's not a bad way to go. Ooh, mm, it's tempting to shoot Vader because you've got the uh, Bullseye Arc and your ability, but doesn't want to go through the Gas Cloud, so this is Seer shooting. Spins the Calculate for two hits on Vermeil, who gets two focus results. He's going to take them both. All right, let's see, nothing for that drone. I'm gonna start from the back. Looks like it's another unobstructed range three shot. Does have energy. Looks like he's not shooting his energy shells. Oh, that's the one that doesn't have them, I guess. Trade Federation number one. Yeah, he doesn't have energy shells. So that's two more into Vermeil. Gonna shoot an energy shell from drone number two. And there it is, three damage coming out of number two. You don't get a range advantage either. Or, uh, well, that's at range two anyway, so. Let's keep up with who's shooting. Number two spent the energy shell. Got one evade, takes hit crit. 
loose stabilizer is the crit. There it is. And you get to change the uh, focus into a crit with energy shell. So hit crit coming in at least. Looks like it's going to be hit hit crit into Vermeil, who is dead now. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, now the bets come in. I'm going to close bets now that combat has begun. You filthy cheaters. All right. Here comes a shot into... Oh, man. These... These droids rolling hot fire into, uh... And it's Sunter fell here. Hit, hit, crit. Does get the auto thrusters from the... Yeah, he's fine. One comes from the gas cloud, one from the evade token. Doesn't even need it. We didn't get to see Vermeil's ability or Death Troopers. I am curious about Death Troopers, but uh, that was not a good showing for them. Yeah, Vecna saying, I don't think I'd waste the energy shell charge on that shot. He'd have to blank on five dice to maybe take one. Eh, you take all the shots. So who spent their shells? Looks like five and six both spent theirs. Uh, two spent theirs, yeah, we got that. I think we are good to go on energy shells. Vecna does have a, uh, a Kyber Cup, the final of the Kyber Cup today, I believe at four? All right, so we've got these super arc dodgy aces of lobster. Going up against the uh, disposable droid uh, drones, droid drones, drone droids of uh, dinosaur. Who perseveres here? I don't love Sunterfell's position. We might see a too hard turn and a boost. I think you just kind of bank all these droids and hope for the best. Both players are ready. Let's see where all these droids are heading. Oh, Vecna says matches at 6 p.m. EST. Okay, I'll be there.
Some of these had calculate tokens left over thanks to Kraken. Is that another bump from Seer? Come on, guy. Yep, there's the two hard from Sunterfell. Ooh, he's just gonna have to barrel roll and evade or something. But I mean, you've got so many bullseye arcs and Seer's ability. One forward from Vader, who doesn't get a target lock. He's got all of his force points back, though. And I think this game is pretty much over. Looking at the boost. Can't boost on the debris. That debris was not locked down. But takes the stress from it anyway. Now he's out there without mods. He's in probably that bullseye, probably that bullseye. Vader's gonna try taking somebody out. None of these drones are damaged. Doesn't have any bullseye abilities. Oh no! Second time in a row with the natties hit hit crit. One evade spins the second calculate that he had to uh, take one crit and it is a blinded pilot on which one is this number five all right starting at the back gonna shoot an evader who does have brilliant evasion there's three natties for you. There's one. There's all three evades, thanks to the force point. Gonna shoot range one into Vader. I like to take the shots that... Where you only have one shot, like... That guy only had Vader, this guy only has Sunter. I like to do those first to tell me who to shoot, who to concentrate. Uh, spins one, ooh, uses the uh, Seer ability, spins a Calculate to deny a an Evade. So Vader takes one. Seer OP, please nerf. This guy only has one shot in the Sunter fell. Two dice. Two blanks. He didn't have any uh, energy shells. That is number two. So now... Who this? Gonna take another range one shot into Vader. Hit, hit, focus. Gonna spin that calculate. Yeah, he spins his friend's calculate so that maybe he can share a little further. Three natural evades. Vader does not want to die. This guy's got a... Uh, he should have an unobstructed shot here. Well, maybe they're saying this is the closest point. Close point. One hit. Oh boy. Uh, how did Sutrafil mod that? I don't know, but we're on to the next round, and he only took one shield on Vader for that. So 
So that was uh, not as great as I would have thought. I definitely would have... I think I would have shot more at Sunter Fell. Probably with energy shell charges. Deny him the range 3 advantage. Shot there, shot there, shot there, shot there. Yeah. I would have taken this shot into Vader, and that's about it. Maybe he was hoping to uh, pull down the force points on Vader. Looks like we're uh, checking out dials somewhere. There they are. That looks like a tie advance to me. That is a interceptor. And that is a drone, because of the weird blues. Discussion in the chat about how great Gideon, Vader, and Merrick are enjoying all these ships with no shields. Kraken keeps two of these calculates around. Sunter fell. Probably gonna bug out. Maybe kite. Let Vader clean everything up. Vader can't 4k because of this asteroid. Could Talon roll. Could just do a one bank and say I'll shoot whatever's in front of me. Two forward from drone number two. There's the calculate. Three forward from drone number one. I think he flipped the crit loose stabilizer. No, no. Oh, he. Did he reach it? Drone number one. No, he doesn't have. This guy take an action? Or did he go over? Yeah, he went over gas. All right. Stop interfering, Scott. All right. That's what I get for drinking coffee instead of watching the game. Captain Seer. Oh, don't like that position. What did Captain Seer do? Turned left one. Oh, he acquired a lock. Alright. Maybe he thought it would be a freebie. Four forward and a boost into an evade. Takes the stress. So not great shots. From any of these. I mean, this guy will have a decent shot into Vader. Vader's gonna shoot first, hit crit. This is two dice. Who is this into? Loses two shields and takes a crit.
Nope, nope, nope. Come back. Oh, he... Did he evade one? This is back into Vader. Hit, hit, crit. Oh my god. Three evades again. It's the second time from Vader. Spins a calculate for hit crit on Sunter Fell, who gets two natural evades. hit crit naturally into the same target and three evades from Sunter Fell and doesn't look like this one catches Sunter Fell so we'll see if this guy with uh, Seer's ability can do something different spins one of these calculates for three hits on Vader and Seer's ability to cancel one of these. So it takes a shield on Vader. Down to one force point on Vader for now. Man, Seer's ability really great versus these aces. Some might say it's Dinosaur's ace in the hole. <clears throat> You're welcome. All right, planning phase. We all know what Sunterfell's doing. He's doing it too hard. How do you get ready for that? Uh, unfortunately, you're facing this rock. That's no good. Hard turn here. What is the hardest turn? I think it's a two. I don't think they can do threes. That's not the dial. Oh, they do have three uh, white maneuvers. So like a, do they have one? They do have one. Oh my God, where am I? Yeah. One, three, three, something like that. I think the... It would be tempting to shoot Seer up here, like a two or a three, probably a three. But I think if, if a too hard from... Sunter Fell comes around, that might just give him an easy bullseye arc. Probably with a barrel roll. Hmm. Tough. So Mikey says, assume a 4k with Vader. I almost wondered of if he would do a uh, Talon to be even closer. He won't be able to get the uh, target lock. 4k would allow him to afterburners if he wanted to, but I don't think he'd want to. Could give him an easy shot on Fed Drone number five. Yeah, Smikey's saying the, the drones YOLO over the rock. I think that's pretty much the only thing they can do. They can't just allow Sunterfell to run roughshod over the uh, over this map, but pretty much none of them are going to have mods. Maybe I don't know how you get this guy out of the way except like a two hard turn and then a one hard turn to calculate. <sighs> it all feels bad, man. Maybe a, oh, actually a hard turn here, hard turn there. One, two, or three. Man, you'd be real vulnerable to that 
talent roll. And these guys have to move before Seer, so you couldn't do like a a bank to try and block. Uh. Smikey says Talon has him facing the cloud. Vader don't care. He's got brilliant evasion. He's got force points. He's fine. Of course, you don't need brilliant evasion when you're rolling three natural evades every defense. Good coffee. Looks like all the... Well, Sears dial's not down. What do you do with this guy? He could hard turn to try and block a... A Talon... I think you'd rather get this Gasp Cloud in between you and any possible Vader shots. Like a 3 forward, depending on what this guy's doing. Maybe a 4 forward. That's weird. Is that facing the rock? I think he'd be fine. Ooh, a spicy 1k from Fed Drone number four. A two forward relieves the stress. He'll go for the calculate. They're looking for that 4k. Two hard turn from drone number one. Gonna roll for that rock. 50-50 chance. Do your dance. It's the Space Jam. Blank. Lux out. No offensive or defensive mods. Oh, goes for a two. Oh, but he is not so lucky. Drone number two takes a damage. Wasn't going to get any mods anyway, so doesn't hurt too bad. Ooh, spicy. This guy's going to be giving calculates, though. He might barrel roll forward. Yeah, I think that's smart. You want to spread out your bullseye arcs just in case. Give uh, Sunterfell less options, especially if he tries to barrel roll up here to arc dodge. Ooh, Seer. Nope, that was somebody else. No, Captain Seer left uh, one turn, so he's looking to block that Talon roll. I think he's got it. Now the question is, does he calculate so that he can keep it around he sure does he's thinking about the focus goes for the focus it's a little bit better defensively he can mod more dice too hard from Sunter fell he's looking at barrel rolling but he sees this it's probably still the right choice to try and get that bullseye arc get more mods go for the evade he can dodge one arc Goes for the evade, goes for the barrel roll. Ooh, that's awfully close on that. Oh, uh, he's got the bullseye. He's fine. But this guy also has the bullseye. I think he's outside of the seer ability, though. There's the three hard turn. Oh, he completes it! Oh! Wow. He still doesn't want to be there. He can't barrel roll. He could barrel roll backwards this way. Probably be in both of these arcs. Right now, he doesn't have any shots. He could... He's got afterburners. I don't think those are going to help him. I mean, he could, he could afterburners and then barrel roll right. That's probably the... If you don't want to take any shots, afterburners, right, and then barrel roll.
Nope. Saves the afterburners. Goes for the focus. Hashtag believe. Sunterfell is going to take his shot first. He got his focus from his ability. He's got Predator, range 1. 4v2. He should be able to PS kill this, this little looter. Uh, he's going to reroll the focus result into another focus. He's not going to spend it. One evade takes two on fed drone number one, who hasn't taken any damage yet, so he's still alive. Vader shouldn't have any shots. Ooh, Captain Seer. A searing disappointment. Here's a range one shot from this drone. There is a calculate around. Two focuses. I don't think he wants to spend that calculate on that shot. Uh, which one is this? Uh, not, none of the ones that have... Oh, none of the ones that are alive have energy shell charges. Okay, good to know. Uh, so nothing. You can't keep that calculate. You might as well spend it. Because you have to be... In range three. But he says, why even bother? Because there's a, an evade token. So, no worries there. These aces, they're, they're doing ace things. It, it's crazy that this shot didn't happen. I mean, it, it looks, it looks good. But the simulator says no. That is how we must go. What a cool little ship. Alright. Probably too hard from this guy. Try and catch Sunterfell out again. Might see K turns, Talon rolls. Take a look at the points here. 34 to 59. Dinosaur in the lead. That Reaper was a, uh, a whole lot of points. And these drones are not. Dial's going down. Looks like Derpy's pretty much got his stuff down. Got to figure out Vader here, who's back to full force points somehow. Looks like Vader's, Vader's down. I mean, I think you do. Hmm, maybe another big three. Where do you think that Bill Blub's going? Could be turning around. Not much Vader can do to punish. Can't fit a fate K, uh, a K turn in. 
Sloop doesn't hurt, so might as well turn around with Seer. Try and get behind Vader. Looks like we're ready. Here come the drones. One hard turn. Drone number five. Flips his crit. Just blinded. Yep. Drone number four. Moves up, takes a target lock. Why not? Actually, with four, seems like if you have it, might as well spin the uh, action to flip your charge. Drone number one comes in, barrel rolls, calculates. Drone number two calculates. Good job getting in the way of Suntra Fell. There's a removal of stress and a calculate. One hard turn from Captain Seer. Goes for the focus. I think I would barrel roll, but maybe not. Lobster says, damn, in the chat. Looks like he might have gotten blocked. Goes for a three bank. Ooh. So Fell doesn't get rid of his stress. And Vader bumps. Fell's going to take a range 3 shot into drone number 4. 3 focus results. That's a whole lot of nothing. It's going to range 3 from Vader. 2v3. There's a calculate on this drone. Hit focus, is he going to spin? He might as well spin one, probably. One evade. Ooh, he's taking it on number one. And that is a... He kills it! There's nothing he can do. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, with the range three BM shot. Nothing for Seer to shoot. Ooh, we do have a bullseye arc shot from uh, this guy. He's going to spend that calculate for two hits. One of the evades is going to get... Hmm. If we read Seer's ability, before the neutralize results step, the friendly ship may spend one calculate token to cancel one evade result. So, Vader would mod first. Well, so, the attacker would mod first, then Vader would mod, and then before they're neutralized, the attacker could cancel? Vader's taken two to save his force points. Now that's some points. 99 points on the board for Dinosaur thanks to those half points. This guy's going to take a long shot. Range 3. Through a rock. He's thinking about whose calculate he wants to spend. Ooh, I think you spend your calculate. Uh, he probably wants to put one over on Sunter fell. Yep, that was a good call. He wants this guy to have double calculates. One to deny and evade, and one to mod with. Ooh. Spins one. Gonna leave it. And he's going to crack shot that evade. Or hit crit. 
And that is a direct hit. Sutrafell's dead. Oh, wow. What a turn. That is huge. That three bank he thought he could catch. These uh, drones out. There's the target lock. Oh, boy. He's not going to spend that calculate. He's going to keep it around. So Mikey says it's crack shot, so the attack can cancel all dice uh, after all the dice have been modified. Yeah, it... it yes. It just, it, you know, it, it specifies after neutralize, or before neutralize, right? So just making sure the timing is right, because it is so specific. For the neutralized result steps. Let's read uh, Crackshot. Is it the same language? Just out of curiosity. Why well, perform a primary attack at the defenders in your bullseye arc before the neutralized result step? Yep. Exact same language. So it is Crackshot. So no clarification needed. Captain Crackshot. He is with us. All right, dials are going down. Vader on, is he on one? He is. One haul. He got his uh, force points back. Haven't seen Brilliant Evasion used yet. Does have one charge left on his afterburners. Two hard turn from Trade Federation drone number two. Where's he going? Oh, he's gonna get his, uh, his groove back. A barrel roll and a calculate from number four. Mata says, are you looking to stream another game after this? Yes. As long as we are done before the uh, Kyber Cup final, which is in four hours, so we'll be fine. One bank from Seer. Takes a focus. These guys are just looking to get in the way. Vader, what you got? Got a hard turn? That'd be real, uh, real bad for these drones. Nope, he did a 4K. Does he fit? He does! Oh, look at that legend. Could try an afterburners, but I don't... Nope, he does it. He's not going to get any shots, and he's still going to get shot. Ooh, here's the Captain Crack shot shot. <laughs> there it is, double... Calculates, hmm, spins one, gonna keep the other. Oh, there's no evades! He doesn't even need to spin the calculate. And that's it. Vader is dead. GG to both of these gentlemen. What a game. Thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to the audience for watching. Great to see Seer getting his. The Separatist came back after that first game. Put a hurtin' on these Imperials. Energy shells, pretty good. In the right context, pretty good. But that's going to do it for this game. Thanks to everybody for watching. Till next time. Scott, Hexile Gaming. Signing off.